Steve, I don't know where to begin. We've got major uh, Q4 results and 2022 numbers, which are just purely outstanding. Where would you like to start? Well, I guess as you started, uh, Tr Tracy, first off, it's great to be back on your show. Uh, I, uh, I, I truly enjoy our conversations that we've had over the last few years. Uh, Q4 uh, for Valio, which ended October 31st, was uh, by far our best quarter ever, uh, $12.7 million of revenue. It's probably double the best quarter we've ever had before. Internal growth, product acquisition, and we see it continuing. Uh, the year overall, 27.7 million. Again, another more, uh, doubling from the year uh, prior. Uh, we expect that again to double this year. Our projections are in some in the low 60s in terms of our revenue for 23. So uh, I think our story can be summed up with growth and more growth. And in speaking to your record Q4 results, they were up 274 percent over Q4 2021. Your news release was outstanding in the way that it was written. You had a highlight section for what you did in Q4 that made these financial results a reality. Can you talk to our investors and the Investor Intel audience about what you guys did to make these numbers happen? Well, Q4 uh, was uh, the culmination of a lot of work on our existing products. So the organic growth of our existing products, Redesca, uh, enters air for asthma, et cetera, for asthma, certainly played a big part. But just prior to the beginning of Q4, we actually we acquired three additional products that were accretive from day one. And though the two of them are in ophthalmology, Zydra and Simbrinza, one of them in severe allergic reactions, Allergec, which is an innovative uh, delivery system for epinephrine. Uh, so all of those are, we call them our big six. We have a dozen products, but really those big six are the ones that are driving our growth. And we saw it in Q4 and you'll see it again in Q1, where which we've already come out and said that Q1 will be better than Q4. Um, our, Q, our first quarter of their fiscal year just ended on January 31st, but uh, and we expect that to continue throughout the year. You said the big six, but in your quote, you talk about acquiring the rights to three growth assets. So what are the other three? Walk us through the big six. The big six for us are where we, you know, as, as I've mentioned to you before, and we've uh, we've talked about how 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 it is that a pharma company um, succeeds and grows its revenues, and a lot of it is its people. It's people that deal with all the, the various elements, but one of them is clearly the commercial side. We have eighty five commercial representatives in the field. That's seeing doctors healthcare professionals, hospitals every single day. That's a huge number actually for a company of our size. Uh, so the, the big six are the products that we currently promote with our field team. First being Redesca, which is a hospital product, an anticoagulant, a blood thinner, essentially. The second two, which are our diamonds, which are um, Enerzer and Atectura. And certainly Enerzer, we believe, is is uh, has a strong potential in asthma um, and and will become our first $100 million revenue uh, product. And the other three are the newly acquired ones, the two in ophthalmology. So that's a new area for us. We've created a new ophthalmology business unit, fully staffed. And uh, the third or of, of the ones we recently acquired or the sixth overall is Allergect, which is our uh, epinephrine uh, severe allergic reaction auto injector. Uh, so those are the ones that we put all of our, when I say commercial activities, we support all our products commercially, but they're the ones that receive the bulk of our of the attention of our field team, which, as I mentioned, is over 80 people. So for everyone out there who missed the story about the 2022 revenues for Vallejo Pharma, which were up 105%, $27.7 million for the year ended October 31st, compared to $13.6 million for the year ended October 31st, 2021. Thank you so much, Steve, for your update and congratulations on both your Q4 and your 2022 results. Thanks, Tracy. Good to see you.